Director of Photography, Alec Watson. And in this video, we're diving into super resolution, when to use it and why. Now we've been able to enlarge things for years and, and it used to be that when we scale things up, it, it did it mathematically where it kind of copied things and then, and then just built them out using different algorithms. And honestly, th that method still works. But when you've got AI involved and it can figure out things like, oh, I can see an arc there and you, we wanna make sure that's not jagged, suddenly it's like having a way more advanced algorithm that can enlarge things in, in kind of a smarter manner. So there's three times that I would end up using super resolution. One of them is if I have my camera setting wrong, I have had that happen where I shot smaller images than intended for the client and I actually used super resolution to deliver them. Don't tell my client. Uh, nobody caught it because I, like honestly, the regular resolution would have been fine. Uh, did I just say that out loud? I think I just admitted to something. Did, scratch that. Another time that you're gonna use it is say you, you, you've just like lost the original and you've got a JPEG. So I'm, I'm giving you a copy of, of that here. I haven't lost it, but th that does happen from time to time. So here's, here's how I might use it. If I, had to, if I had to print something and now it's too small or deliver it in too small, and that's the, that's the other use case is, is printing. So now I've had a few people online talk to me about, well, I, I I used super resolution and then I took it into the edit suite and, and I worked on it and it just took forever. So hold on, that's what we're gonna change right here. I have an image that if I go in and do super resolution on it right now, we can see that this image has some color problems. So I'm not going to do anything until I fix my image in the standard resolution that it is right now. I'll take my image into the develop module before I do anything to enlarge it. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fix my color problems. Let's dial in some warmth back into this image. Go, let's take up our exposure and need some contrast. There we go. And little highlights down on that a little bit. Perfect, so if I look at the original, there's that blue washy version, which I'd have enlarged and then had to work on the enlargement and here's the more color corrected. And honestly, every once in a while, when you're, when you're doing things like color corrections, it's always good to show original and back. Our eyes see color based on, based a lot on, on, on what things are around that, around that color and the amount of change. And so it's always good to just click between things. When, when you're having a look and it, it'll reset your eye. And there we go, that, that looks a lot better. So now I would take this back to manage mode with those changes saved. And then I would do the AI super resolution. There we go. AI super resolution. This is gonna take us into a new separate pane. If I just wanted it enlarged, I might say take it up 200%. But what I wanted to show you, because you know that just kind of makes sense, like, that's fairly intuitive to understand. Print size is the one that I wanted to take you to. So right now, if I were to print a four by six, that would be at 72 pixels per inch. And I can tell you for sure that if I were to send this off to somebody, the first thing, like a, a designer, first thing they're gonna say, I, well, I needed it at least 300 dots per inch. So that's one of the things that I could do immediately is I could just type in 300 pixels per inch and now it's going to regenerate that optimized for four by six at 300 pixels per inch using AI. And I could probably be just done with that and click enhance. But what if we wanted it bigger? So in print size, I would, let's say we wanted an eight by, or something that could be eight by 10. Uh, this would be an eight by two aspect ratio wise would turn into an eight by 12. I can go and take my long edge print size in inches. I can take the long edge to 12, take the resolution to 300, and now it's going to keep the aspect ratio. It's going to set it up for a 12 inch frame and it's going to use super resolution to enlarge and enhance. And 
super resolution, to be, to be clear, is not going to fix your problems. The AI is not going to fix the problems, but it is going to do a better job than just a mathematical enlargement. I click on Enhance, and boom, the AI is going to start working away on that. And you'll notice that it does take a little longer than the preview because it's just doing a better job. So we've ended up with two versions of this. I don't know if you saw the video on the image basket, but let's go ahead and take both of these image, images and add it to the image basket because image basket is a great way to do a comparison between the two images. On the left, I have got the original small image and on the right, I've got the new enlarged image. Let's go ahead and zoom in a couple of times. And I don't know if you can see on your end, I can certainly see on my end, that this image over on my left side is way softer than this, this image. Now, if I go in tighter, I'm gonna start noticing that the hair looks a little bit overly coarse and artificial. And that's the, you know, that, that's that AI. You, you, don't, you don't get to have like actual hair for nothing. And AIs are gonna get better over time. But I can say for sure that between those two images, this one looks soft and will not enlarge to that size well. And this one I totally buy into. I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving it a thumbs up for AI in large. I'm gonna give AI super resolution uh, two thumbs up for, you know, it's not like AI is gonna save the day on you, but you know, when we're stuck, when, when it happens, and it does happen, right, that we've got an image that's just too small or we've lost the original, we can take something and it's not like we get something for nothing, but we're doing a whole lot better than we were. So uh, a big thanks to ACDC and, and the developers on that one for giving us super resolution. So with that, get out there, take photos, make the world a better, more beautiful place, share them around. And if you lose the original, you can go back to Facebook and download it, hit it with super resolution, and you kind of get your image back. Yeah.